Hey guys, real quick before we start this video, this is the Red Cross you're looking at, Canadian Red Cross. It's a charity I support, and um, basically, if you haven't seen the Meet my meet the Coach uh, video, every match I do, every SBC battle I do, um, I'm donating $5 to this charity, and if I lose, I'm donating 20 And so this is going on for 12 weeks, um, meaning I'll be donating $60 minimum and $240 maximum. So, I mean... <laughs> Good luck to either party because either way I'm winning or I'm donating 20 bucks at charity. So either way I'm happy. I'm enjoying my first battle of the SPC guys. I will talk to you guys later. See you soon. So what is up guys? Spyro the Small Dragon here for another video. Once again on Spyro the Small Dragon. Um, we are here with the SEC League Week 1 battle versus Sean. Sean's a newcomer in uh, <laughs> our little league here and uh, we're going to show him who's boss. So as you can see on the screen here we have his team. He has a San Jose Sharpedos and holy crap his team is scary. Uh, we see Hoopa Unbound here. We see Zapdos, Infernape. Uh, three very very scary threats especially that Hoopa. I'm not familiar with Hoopa very well so I do not know what kind of moves it's going to be using. Um, I'm also scared of that Shaman and Needle King because they're so unpredictable. Uh, Shaman can att uh, att like, attack my entire team for a lot of damage. Uh, and Pinsir, holy crap, I am scared! Um, so basically, <laughs> we have to plan around this entire thing. And um, I'm going to show you my team real quick. Um, you can see Zapdos right here. We have... Uh, give me one second, we're going to overhaul my team builder and tell you what I have for Zapdos. So, we have uh, Hippowdon, who can absorb Zapdos hits, hits extremely well. Even HP Ice Choice Specs, I can live two of them. I can switch in, take the Volt Switch, take whatever. And uh, if he wants to HP Ice me, I can take that too, no problem. Um, if for Infernape, what do we have for Infernape? Um, we do have Zygarde. We're bringing Zygarde this week, guys. Uh, funny story if you haven't heard, um, when we were drafting and it was my turn, I did not know who I wanted, so I said, someone say a letter! And, uh, Sean, this guy right here, said the letter Z, so I was like, okay, my pick Zygarde. And, uh, <laughs> we're bringing Zygarde the Zygarde. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna see Zygarde destroy Sir Sean this battle, maybe? Um, other than that, who do we have? We're bringing Choice Banded Victini. Um, how well can Choice Bandit Victini do against Sean here? Um, Pinsir, you're gonna be, you're gonna destroy, oh my god! <laughs> I'm so excited to be using Loaves again, guys, you do not understand. And plus, um, U-Turn's gonna Oko the Hoopa, U-Turn's gonna give us so much momentum. Uh, we can take hits from Infernape's dual stabs. Milotic does not stand a chance if we have Bolt Strike. Um, we're bringing Magneton to deal with just a lot of his threats. We're bringing Choice Specs with Bolt Switch, Thunderbolt, Hidden Power, Ice, and Signal Beam. Uh, signal Beam is just for the Hoopa, but I doubt I'm going to be using that. Uh, so even more momentum from the Volt Switch. Uh, we're bringing Fred the Crobat. Uh, by the way, we have Magneton, who is the Balloons. Um, we're bringing Fred the Crobat with Black Sludge and Infiltrator, just in case of substitutes. We're also bringing another U-Turner. Uh, so U-Turn Crobat with Braver, Defog, and Roost. Uh, just a very common set, you know, just to handle everything. Max Attack, Max Speed, very, very, you know, common set. It's nothing special. Other than that, guys, we have, uh, as I already said, Hippowdon and Excadrill. So Hard Hat and Motto joining us once again for week one here. Uh, Smooth Rock, Hippowdon, uh, and Life Orb, Excadrill. Uh, Hippowdon is just a basic set of Stealth Rocks, Rock Slide, Slack Off, and Toxic. I don't see myself needing Earthquake this time around, so we're just going to bring uh, a bit of recovery and some possible Toxic for uh, for some plays in this game. And um, Excadrill is just going to be like a last resort kind of thing. Um, we can destroy his entire team. Uh, Excadrill, what do you do? Who do you beat? Well, who do you not beat? Who can you not touch? You cannot really touch Zapdos, um, but it can't really touch you back. My Lodic, I guess, two, two Earthquakes, it's, it's dead. Other than that, man, uh, <laughs> holy crap. Um, we have pure power this time around, but as you can see, Sean also does too. So, let's just get straight into the battle. So, thanks for watching this video, guys, and I will be right back. So you may be wondering why you're starting my crotch right now. Well, we are rocking the Mar Real Marill t-shirt and uh, <laughs> it's going to give us luck. You just watched. Um, so I'm going to put this back on my face real quick. Uh, should be good. All right. So as you can see, I'm bringing this team here. Hip out on, mod of the out on, Excadrill, hard hat, Fred the gold bat, or the crowbat, Zygod, the Zygarde, uh, Loves of Knee, and the Bloons, the Magneton, and... Here's his team. 
Uh, very threatening. <laughs> Mega Pinsir, who fun bound. For some reason, it's legal. Who knows why? Uh, yeah, Zapdos might be Specs, might be Defog. Who knows? Shaman, who can kill our entire team with any move. Like, and Infernape, who we do not know what it's running yet, but we will see very soon. Um, Milotic is not much of a threat. We do have uh, Victini, who can handle it. You know, we have Magneton, who can handle it too. But we'll just see what happens. So here we go, guys. Let me change the speed to normal, and let's get started. So we're going to lead off with... Uh, who is it again? With Victini, because we want to get the U-turn off, and we're not gonna- we're just gonna go for the U-turn. I don't care if he can Oko me, we're just gonna expect that he's not Scarf. We're gonna U-turn, so it turns out he's not Scarf, he would have, uh, Dark Space, whatever the hell it's called. We're gonna U-turn on his Zapdos into our Hippowdon, who is an absolute counter, he cannot touch us. Um, this switch right here is going to allow us to get our free Stealth Rocks up. Um, Stealth Rocks are very important in this game, he has Zapdos, Infernape, and Pinsir, all of which who you know, murdered by rocks. Um, so Zapdos is going to switch on to Shaman, and I'm scared of Shaman, so we're going to go on to Victini. Expecting Seed Flare, maybe, who knows. He's going to substitute. So this is already pretty scary. As I said, uh, Shaman can destroy us. Turns out the leftover is not Life Orb, which is great. But we're going to U-turn, critical hit, get rid of the stuff, and go out into Crobat. Now, <laughs> Sean, you are amazing. He psychics on my switch into Fred. And, uh... How? How did you know? You know? Um, I was in... That was just so risky of a play, but it paid out so well. So right now, Fred is almost dead, and this means that... Fred is dead. Uh, this means we get a U-turn right now, and he's kind of scared of U-turn, so he's going to run to Zapdos. Take a rock's damage, plus the U-turn, and we're going to go out into... Excadrill. Um, so, so far, we're doing very well. Um, Fred's almost dead, but it outspeeds everything on his team, so we're not that scared. Um... We get a free rock slide here on whatever comes in, and uh, turns out my lot it comes in, takes the rock slide 28%, and uh, <laughs> not bad. So we're life of course, taking that recoil, and uh, under sand rush, we're, we're, we're scary, but we're also scared of this my lot scald. We're gonna go out to Magneton, take the scald, take 50%, 49%, and um, not too bad, right? And here's where Magneton proves how good it is. Uh, it's able to scare out the Milotic, being faster, and Volt Switch on whatever comes in. And um, this gains us a lot of momentum, of course, and uh, I f I'm so happy with Magneton. I really am. Uh, we have to go straight back on into Fred, who gets another U-turn. Uh, ends up not killing. What the hell, Fred? Come on. You're better than this. And uh, his Shaman's basically dead here. Uh, he's going to go for Psychic. Do nothing to our Zygod, because we, my fellow humans, are God. Um, he's going to Seed flare, flare, though. That's a crap ton. Funny how much more that does. Um, and we get to D-Dance up a little bit, get the Extreme Speed off, killing the Shaman. Now, since we are carrying Life Orb, we have one hit left, left in us, basically. And uh, he's going to bring in Pinsir, meaning he's, he can just Quick Attack. So we're going to be forced to go for the Extreme Speed here. And uh, Quick Attack's going to end up taking out Zygod, who sadly wasn't able to do more than it did. But taking out basically two Pokemon is amazing. So thank you so much for your hard work, Zygod. Now, this Pinsir being dead upon switch in. Uh, he's gonna switch out to preserve it, possibly with uh, Zapdos' Defog. Who knows? So Milotic and, uh, comes in and we're just gonna Toxic Miss. Of course, you know, I'm the luckiest person on this planet. Um, Scald, we're gonna risk it. He gets a crit hit. Luckily, not a crit burn, just a crit. And we're gonna end up getting that Toxic off. Um, plus the Sandstorm damage. It's gonna, it's gonna start racking up soon if you stay in too long there. Uh, so we get to go straight on to Magneton, and he recovers, is it? Yeah, he recovers up. We're going to go for the Thunderbolt here, because Milotic, you are not taking a Thunderbolt. Uh, meaning, we're forcing him to switch out, get a Thunderbolt on whatever comes in. Turns out he needs to sack off Zapdos. Um, which means, by sacking off Zapdos, he's also sacking his Pinsir, because he has no possible Defog or Hazard removal anymore. So essentially, by this T-Bolt, we're removing two Pokemon from the game. So congratulations, Magneton, you are amazing. I fucking love you. Um, we're gonna hit the Hoopa with our Specs T-Bolt as well. We see that we have speed, which is kind of weird, meaning no Scarf, nothing. And he's gonna set up Trick Room, which, uh, <laughs> I'm scared. Um, seeing that he's at 20% and also Life Orb, though, we can bring him Pout on. We can outspeed under the Trick Room and just get rid of this monster. Um, we are not carrying Earthquake, as you saw, we're only carrying Rock Slides, so there goes, uh, the Hoopa. We're still at 6%, come on, Madi, you can do this. You're a big boy now. Uh, he brings in Pinsir, sacks that off, and he's left with two Pokemon. Milotic, who's Toxic, taking damage from Sandstorm, Stealth Rocks, and Toxic... Er, Sandstorm, Stealth Rock, and Toxic. A lot of damage. We're going to sack off Fred here. Die to a Scald. Um, we're doing this basically to stall out the Trick Room and to... Uh, 
to get a free switch into Victini, who will also grant, grant us more uh, more stalling on the on the uh, Trick Room. We're gonna take it out with the Bolt Strike. Uh, boom, you're dead. Like there's no way you're living a choice banded Bolt Strike. I love you, loves. You're fucking amazing. Um, here comes Infernape. Okay. We're, all we need to do now is go into hit Powdon, Mod of the Powdon, my favorite little girl. Um, get the Sandstorm back up. He's gonna Stone Edge to kill us, I guess. And uh, in comes Exegjewel for the EQ kill. That was a great game, Sean. Uh, good luck to you in the future future matches. And uh, that's that's it, guys. Look at that. <laughs> Friggin' hard hat. Dude, I missed you. I missed you, Exegjewel. I missed you, Victini. I'm glad we're back. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> good game, Sean. As I said, good luck to you in future games. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I will see you guys next time. Since we did win this game, I will be donating $5 to the uh, the Red Cross charity. As I said. In the intro of this video. Uh, so I will see you guys next week for another battle versus Yosef. That's it. Uh, Alright. So I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Guys. Goodbye.